right. The terrier. This is the humerus. This is the head. Mm -hmm. This is the neck. Okay. Um, it's very bright. Hold on. This is the greater tubercle right here. Okay. And Let's see if I can make it better. Okay. Greater yeah. tubercle, lesser okay. tubercle. Really? Intertubercular sulcus. Great. There. And then what do you think G is? It would be delta T velocity. Yay. And then down here, let's go with <laughs> medial epicondyle. Uh huh. Lateral epicondyle. Great. And this is the capitulum. Oh, right. Yeah. And then in the trochlea. Trochlea. And then the trochlear. Oh, never mind. Yeah. And this is the supracondylar ridges. Supracondylar ridges. We don't need to know those. I don't know. If we do. <laughs> Should I turn this around because we have other stuff on the back? So this is um, still a right humerus and it's posterior now. <clears throat> so, this is the alacronin fossa. Alacronin fossa? Yeah. This is medial epicondyle. Uh huh. This is the trochlea. Yes. Lateral epicondyle. Okie dokes. That's all we need to know? Yep. Yeah. All right, that is the humerus. Let's um, go straight into the ulna, which will look like this. And as you can see, this is um, the right, and the way you can see that is that you can make a like a backward C and have the styloid process on your right side. That's how you know that it's a right ulna. Lacrimin process. Lacrimin process. Trochlear notch. Uh huh. And the coronoid process. This is the radial notch right here. Hmm. Do we need to know that one? Yes. Really? I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know what I was saying. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we do. Okay. Down here. Dilate process, uh -huh. radius, and then this is ulna. The, or ulna, and this is the head of the ulna. Head of ulna. Head. Do we need to know the neck? No. Okay, great. So, this articulates, you should show how it articulates. So, it articulates like that. Yay. Pretty. Okay, and so now we have the radius. And the radius is a little more difficult to figure out, like left and right, in my opinion. Um, but as long as you have the, it's going to articulate basically like this with the ulna. These are plastic, it sucks. But, um, and I like this. And so the styloid process needs to be on the left is the thing. So you can figure out whether or not that's a um, left or a right like that. And this is a right because you have the, um, help me out. This would be the bump. <laughs> the bump. That is the radial tuberosity. Radial tuberosity on the right and the styloid process on the left. That means that it is a right radius. And this is the head uh -huh. of the radius. This and the neck. The neck of the radius. And, and the radial tuberosity was right there. This is the ulnar notch. Wait. Stylet process. Doesn't it? J is the Are we looking at the Oh, okay. L. This is the ulnar notch, and this is yeah. the stylet process. And because at the ulnar notch, you have the... That's where um, it meets up. Yeah. That's where it meets up with the ulna. And so actually on the ulna, it's called the radial notch, yep. where they meet up. And um, so it basically fits like this. And then when you articulate, it's going to look approximately like that. Okay? And down here, oops, if we can make it work, it's going to articulate approximately like this. Styloid processes on each side. And what happens when you turn, like when you pronate your arm, the radius is going to go swoosh. I'm going to cross like this. <laughs> that should be how that works, sort of.